and welcome to Speed and Science. This is Mark and my name is Udo. Today we want to talk about generational jump, twin cam velocity heads. Mark, I'm really super excited about talking about <laughs> this one. You know, I mean, this is our newest product. So, Mark, Harley-Davidson's been around for a long time. Have they always been into these large touring bikes? A very long time indeed. We're talking almost 120 years uh, since four young men with very little resources but great passion and determination um, built the first motorcycle and hand painted the words Harley Davidson on a, on a tank. Right. Um, that was essentially a great grandparent of what later became uh, an ultimate freedom machine. Now, Harley Davidson had produced a number of different models over the years since and they had brief hate-love relationships with motorsports, um, mopeds, scooters and golf carts, you know, out of all things, but um, <laughs> yes, I know, it's kind of <laughs> odd. Uh, but the main bread and butter were always uh, large V-twin powered uh, machines. Mark, how many major big twin engine generations are we really talking about? Not counting pre-war flathead engines or some experimental models, um, the first truly modern uh, engine that came out of Harley-Davidson company was the legendary Knucklehead back in 1936. Um, the next was the Panhead, so right. 1948 till 1965. Um, in 1966, the Shovelhead um, was born. Yeah. And the, then the evolution took over in 1985. And that generation was replaced with a twin cam in 1999. Um, the current and latest uh, Harley Davidson engine model is called Milwaukee 8 and it's been around for about three years since 2017. So Mark, tell us more about these heads. We have developed this headset specifically for a twin cam engine size between 96 and 110 cubic inches. Okay. Uh, yes, we have skipped the entire evolution series, um, not to say we won't make it in the future, but following our successful story and adventure with the uh, shovel head, we right. decided to do something entirely different and just see how we do there. Anyway, uh, following the same principle, we ended up um, developing two variations of this headset. This one uh, being called Ferocity and uh, the main idea be behind this concept was to provide max maximum compatibility with the OEM components and, and peripherals, mainly intake manifold and throttle body and so on, while uh, providing a great increase in power and torque throughout the, uh, the entire RPM range. Okay. Uh, with proper tuning, this headset makes a fantastic street engine and the difference is very, very noticeable and immediate. So Mark, what does the aftermarket offer in this area? Most of aftermarket heads are based off of castings. Uh, we use billet aluminum for a variety of reasons. Um, superior stability and strength, for instance, and also starting with a row block of aluminum. Uh, gives us a complete freedom and control over uh, port shape and, and a combustion chamber, which is uh, heart and soul of a, of a good head. And they also look really nice when they're like this. Yes, I can't argue with that. Um, most of the, uh, the heads advertised as CNC ported that are simply based off of uh, third-party yeah. castings and uh, simply have you know, ports open up a little bit and maybe you know, oversized valve installed. Uh, there's a lot of, not a lot of R&D going into those things and uh, in most cases uh, the resulting velocity loss uh, causes uh, a power, significant power drop in a lower RPM range uh, which is unfortunate and very, very counterproductive. I mean, how many people ride the Harleys uh, at 5000 RPM and above? Mark, purchasing these heads is one thing, these Velocity heads, but installing them are there any special parts that are needed or special processes? Not at all. These are direct bolt-on components. Um, other than new gaskets, um, a customer doesn't need anything else. Um, a good tune-up afterward will help uh, okay. to make the most out of the, uh, the new setup, but other than that, it's a plug-and-play. Um, this changes a little bit with our new MIT high-power uh, product line, but we'll cover that in the next episodes. 
Thanks, Mark. If Thank you, you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see the subsequent videos, hit the links below, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thank you.